YouTube, 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 never fear. Look at Jay's here. Back at it again with another sneaker review. Today I bring you a pickup that I got two days ago on Wednesday. He's here. Deliver it on Friday. Beautiful day today. Um, $90 retail. You can pick these up straight from their website or you can purchase them from Dr. J's. That's where I picked them up. They're sitting there. Very easy to get. They have two colorways on the Avia website and three on the Dr. J's. So you get more of a, a little bit more exclusive colorway that you're not going to get straight from the manufacturer so um yeah uh i'm excited to uh, finally own an avia i always wanted one um it's been years you know i remember seeing them as a kid um they had a lot of high tops known for high top sneakers and um so yeah just um want to show you the box let's get into the box and then i got um like two other shoes to compare the heights to just for anybody wondering where, how high these are so you got your box here in black and gray with the grid pattern going on you got your avia in red there you got your high performance athletic footwear and that branding is throughout the box here then you got your tag here av retro and the style code don't know which one it is and then colorway is bright white chinese red and magnet so what looks to be like a gray almost black is a magnet so similar to what's on the box here you got your inside of the box top of the box here and the box is a little flimsy and you know not that great you got your avia uh tissue paper there the glue's already coming off here so if you're trying to like have a good box here with these not happening this is just to get you to um to get the hands into you that's it and the only thing, if you do order from Dr. J's to try to get these, they didn't double box them. They came in a bag. I don't remember the last time I got a sneaker in those bags that you know normally get clothes in. So, yeah, I didn't like that. And you could see um, it's already damaged. Nothing crazy, but, you know, still the box is damaged. So, but let's get into the sneakers really quick. Woo! Finally got a pair in the collection love these man great job to finally bring these back you got your um, red outsole you got your avia branding here you got your like patent patenting uh hair and bone traction pattern going on here you got your pivot point there and you got this uh like suction technology you know and you know when it comes down when you come down it, it helps spread out for shock absorption is what I was reading. You got your white midsole, white stitching, or bright white, bright white, um, and bright white upper, bright white laces, and um, yeah. Uh, then you have your Chinese red, and you got your magnet here. So you got your Avia branding in that Chinese red, a little bit here. You got your 830 here. You got this uh, plastic heel support your collar this leather back here feels a little bit on the thin side like eventually it will crack and peel off that's that type of leather that's back here said it's full grain leather throughout the upper but this is what it feel like to me i don't know um so but uh the leather up here feels really good um it does feel of quality it's not um plasticky or anything like a Air Jordan 1 uh, mid or a low, you know, they bring uh, good quality. I want to say it's the best. They're calling it full grain, but, you know, I can show you the toe box here. And, you know, it's a little uh, inconsistent compared to this one. So, but um, that's the only thing with that. They do feel really good. They do feel really good. Um, there is some, like, a little bit of craftsmanship quality issues here. I'll show you on the side you see the stitching how it doesn't flow right I'll show you this side it's a little bit better there so yeah you're gonna get little issues here and there as well as in the toe box here it's a little 
do that. Show you this one. Rolls in a little bit. I don't know. Just doesn't look as clean as it could be. But overall, the whole shoe is um, stitched pretty good. Build and feel feels really good. Um, you got your nylon bright white tongue and it's padded so you got a little bit of uh, padding going on on the tongue not used to that as you know Jordans don't have this type of nice feeling padding going on I want to say it's SB but it does give you an extra uh, comfort feeling on the shoe and um, yeah you got Avia branding in the middle here too you got your little pamphlet thing to let you know what's going on and you got at the top of the tongue avia 830 to let you know what model this is you got red sock liner you have a white insole and red avia uh, lettering there i'm going to remove the insole to show you it seems like because i've never had these so I, don't, I haven't seen anything where they're showing the insole looks like they added some kind of new style of insole. I don't know how good and comfortable this is. It gives me like a hexalite vibe to it, you know, with the um, whole cutout honeycomb pattern going on there. So I'm guessing it might be a little bit comfortable compared to the OGs. And even the footbed has been upgraded. You know, they used to have that old style footbed so these got to be a little bit better than the OGs and uh, but uh, but yeah really like the sneaker um, waiting on what other colorways they got love all the perforation going on in the vamp area on the mud guard and right here on the side panel here little stitching extra stitching going on right there you know a lot of double stitching going on throughout you know like that touch got a little notch thing in here the collar reminds me of because i never owned it but i always see it it gives me like a vibe of the yeezy one you know i don't know just very puffy you know similar design shape i think it might come down a little bit more slope down but it does give me like a yeezy one vibe nike Air Yeezy one, so and uh, the sneaker has some kind of like design looks like the Air Jordan one. If you look at it, you know, it doesn't have a logo other than their lettering of Avia there. So, but um, and I'm gonna show you the height. So, I got this sneaker right here, and as you can see, the panels, um, and just the overall look. Of the sneaker i'll show you the height if you're wondering what's the height compare to these so there you go that's the height there I'll show you the back a little bit better And then I have these here. You got your Adidas. And, you know, they're about the same height and everything. The Adidas torsion is a little bit taller. very little bit you know certain spots this one goes up and like just has like a straight line while this one dips down just very slightly but it is very close on the height just really really close right there at the top of the eye stays match up and everything so just anybody wondering I'll show you the heel and everything so there in comparison with these um, as far as I, I wasn't trying to get all these sneakers out here and trying to compare the height, but just wanted to show you, you know, there are a little bit 
taller than the Air Jordan 1. Makes them look like a mid. You know, that's how high these are. And I wasn't trying to bring out a load to really show you how high these are. So, you know, but um, I'm excited for these. And the pictures, I thought they were going to come with a, a pre-yellow tongue. I'm guessing they were showing an OG. Um, they could easy get the tongue to be, you know, a vintage, you know, aged yellow. But um, that's about it, you know. I really like these. Um, can't wait to see what other colorways they got or what other silhouettes they're going to bring it back. If they're going to go... Um, one or two a year for the next couple of years. I don't know, you know, I'm trying to get some different silhouettes. And this is a classic uh, brand, 80s, you know, they just bring the uh, the higher quality with these. And with these coming out, I'm wondering if Nike's gonna bring out, before they bring out their Nikes, um, the, uh, the Converse, you know, they got a lot of high top, old school Converse and Nike owns them, so. And with that, you got Reebok as well. Had a lot of high tops. And we'll see as they are independent again. They got bought out by themselves or whatever. I don't know. They they didn't. Somebody in the, in like a corporate entity or whatever that's um, affiliated with Shaq. So Shaq owns Reebok. You know, I'm, I'm not going to say he's the owner or anything, but like, you know. Uh, he got a group of investors is what bought Reebok. So we're going to see if, you know, bring back some classic uh, Reeboks. I don't know if they're going to bring back um, some older pumps and some older 80s high top basketball sneakers there. You know, as they weren't um, really profitable all these years when they were um, with Adidas. So I don't know what their plans are, but it'd be cool. And we'll be seeing, I guess... Um, possibly a resurgent on high tops again as these got the green light so i don't know what's going on but for these to be coming back i don't know they're just like we're back and like letting everybody know just um bringing out these uh gr colorways and then we'll be bringing out that heat and you know so um yeah you too i know there there's the one silhouette that virgil basically um copied for the um the Louis Vuitton, the one with the high strap and, and everything, the high trainers, um, those look like, you know, something that he just took from Avia. So, but um, YouTube, it's your boy Logan J. I hope you enjoyed the review, and I'm signing out. Peace.